Hello everybody, my name's Renee and this is my Cash Tipping Journey. If you're new here, thank you so much for taking a chance and clicking on my video. I hope you decide to like, subscribe and stick around for a while. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your ongoing support. So if you've watched my kind of short video not that long ago, you know that my son was in hospital and we now both have COVID. Um, not because we're, we're in hospital, but yeah. I suggest you go back and watch that video and that will give you a bit of a rundown of what's been going on. I am trying to do my bulk filming, but that will depend on how I feel today. Um, I do all, do all my filming in one day and then I spread those videos throughout the next two weeks. So I'm hoping by doing that, it'll give me a bit of a break and be able to get over this uh, COVID. Um, I do feel okay at the moment, um, just a little bit of a cough. Um, a pretty bad headache, a um, bit of a scratchy throat, but not too bad. Um, yeah. So today we're going to do a um, a budget with me. I have already pre-filled it just so I can kind of cut down on the talking a little bit. Um, but we'll just run through it and um, we'll take one video at a time and see how I go. <laughs> okay, so my fortnightly expenses, my income, uh, I think this is... Is this the first pay of September? I think this is the first pay of September. Uh, we got $2,978. I do get paid bi-weekly, so I get this amount every two weeks. And then it, um, yeah, that's all the bills and cash stuffing for the next two weeks. Okay, my fortnightly expenses were 1014 My monthly expenses were 308 Okay, for my savings goals. Uh, emergency is ten dollars. Uh, my cash, my deposit for my home um, is twenty-five. Um, Evelyn is five. William five. They are my kids. If you're new here, um, Les is my husband, and then there's me. Um, car maintenance five. Husqvarna five. School expenses five. I may have to start bulking this up soon because William has decided that he. He wants to go to a camp that goes for a few days, um, and that's $200. So we might have to bulk it up a bit so we can get that money saved and for anything else he needs for that camp. Uh, William Bowling is 50. Uh, health is 50. Um, household, 5. Clothing, 5. Uh, concert is 25. Etsy, 5. Ahead, 5. Stockpile, 5. Now, if you are new to cash stuffing, I have a whole budget 101 series that goes through this whole this whole process of making your budget, picking your categories, um, looking at what to cash stuff. But the general gist of it is I I pay all of my bills and expenses pretty much um, online. So all the money stays in my account. I have multiple bank accounts. So I have one for my fortnightly expenses, one for my monthly expenses. I calculate my monthly expenses and that's how much money I transfer into each of those accounts. And then I don't have to think about it, I don't have to worry about it, it doesn't get touched. I know what's going in and what's going out. Now, I basically cash stuff for all of my savings and all of my annual expenses, things like car registration, birthdays, Easter, Christmas, things like that. So I generally cash stuff five dollars a week um and it actually ticks up a lot quicker than what you think it does um so don't be watching all of these cash stuffing videos and think that you have to cash stuff hundreds and hundreds of dollars into a single envelope um if that works for your budget great if it doesn't cash stuff a dollar um cash stuff five dollars one dollar fifty cents whatever suits your budget um i was really struggling with this system um, because it wasn't working for me and then I realized that the system should work for me not I should work for the system so once I took on that and made oh sorry guys and made the system work for my budget um, I've been loving this cash stuffing journey and I've been able to quite save quite a big chunk of change um, and I am actually due to do to do a quarterly update at the end of September and in January, I had nothing. So no, none, none of these were stuffed. Nothing. I had zero in everything. So it'll be really interesting to see how much I saved in that first six months. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so what I'm doing now is I know how much 
because I get paid a salary, I know how much I'm getting paid every fortnight. So it's pretty easy for me. My, my income doesn't fluctuate. So I basically stuff the same amount in my envelopes um, every time. And something I did want to say quickly is don't get discouraged if you feel like you're boring. <laughs> like if you cashed off the same amount every week, that's what works for you. And if you want to add a little bit of spice, throw in a savings challenge because sometimes, a lot of the time, it's different amounts, it's different totals at the end. Um, you can do surprise ones. Um, I myself have a $100 um, scratch off challenge, which you know it's going to be $100, but each amount is a surprise. Um, yeah, like, don't. I, I get a lot of comments and I see a lot of comments about people getting bored with what they're cash stopping. If that's what your budget is, that's what it is. And like I said, spice it up with a savings challenge. It doesn't have to be a big one. It could be um, Jamie's realistic life. She's got some amazing low income savings challenges if that's if you've got on a low, low income. There is hundreds and thousands and probably millions of savings challenges on Etsy. Or you can create your own. Um, um, this system doesn't have to be boring. You've just got to figure out what works for you. So, <coughs> what I'm doing now is I know how much I'm cashed off in every envelope, and then I'm just going in and figuring out what notes I need. Now, I'm the kind of person where I want the highest note. I hate, like, small notes. And so, I always pick the highest note for that. Excuse me. Uh, for that amount. So, now I'm just going through and figuring all that out. Okay, now that we've done that, and I've had my little rant and gone off on my tangent, there's not a single video that I've ever filmed where I haven't gone off on, like, a squirrel, ba squirrel brain random tangent. Okay, so we've got 10, Okay, so for the first week of September, we will be cash driving $220 in my savings goals. Um, some people call these um, sinking funds <coughs> or ho, hi, ho, Jesus. This COVID's obviously affecting my English, dang. Um, they might call them high high priority or low priority um i got really confused with all of that with the high and low priority with the sinking funds variable expenses um so i basically have four or five binders that i stuff i've got my wallet like my cash wallet which is what i take with me every day and that's what i do my shopping with and spending money and medication all that stuff then i have my savings goals my annual expenses my savings challenges and one for my small business and that system really works for me. It keeps everything nice and clear in my mind of what goes where and what the goal is for that whole binder. Okay. So annual expenses is family vacations getting five, birthdays five, Easter five, Rego is getting 40, which is two, going to be 220s, Mother's and Father's Day five, back to school five, and subscription five. Um, it's actually Father's Day in Australia here on Sunday, so in a few days. My husband's really, he doesn't want anything. He's very hard to buy for in the fact that he never wants anything. I'm like, well, what do you want for Father's Day? And he's like, no, nah, I just want you and the kids. <laughs> so, so we'll probably just have a family day together. I might cook him a nice dinner if I feel up to it. And I'm not sure. What do you celebrate for Father's Day? Is, is it like a big, big deal in your house? Mother's and Father's Day aren't really a big thing in ours. Um, we generally are more likely to spend time as a family. Um, maybe go to the park, get an ice cream, have a nice dinner at home. Um, gifts aren't really a really big thing. Um, <coughs> I can't actually go out and go shopping now anyway, because I'm in isolation. Um, so what are you doing for Father's Day? Okay, um, uh, 
um, $70 for annual expenses. Okay, just rolling in glitter is my small business. <coughs> expenses, savings, postage, PO box, taxes, and giveaway. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30. And that's getting $30. I hope you could see that. I just realized you may not have may even been able to see that. Um, um, these are my cash wallets. So this is what I carry around in my handbag every day. I have an A7. Um, I have, have an A7 Croc wallet from Mandy Budgets. And it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and then when I want to swap that up, I have a beautiful pearlescent white one from the Envelope Diary. Um, they're both on Etsy and they have some beautiful, beautiful products. I highly recommend you go over and check them out. Uh, medication is getting 20. Uh, groceries is getting 150. I did have to up this just because of the price of groceries right now. And I'm hoping that's enough. But it has, $100 hasn't been cutting it at all. Um, so that's getting 350s. Fast food is getting 60 but if you've been following me for a while, I am actually doing a savings challenge, an eat out savings challenge. And out of this $60, I take $10 and put it in that savings challenge. So I'm only going to actually put $50 in my envelope. The kids get $20, but it's in two tens. Um, they get $10 each. If at the end of the fortnight I haven't used that, it goes straight into their individual envelopes. Uh, family time is getting 20 uh, fuel is getting 50 my husband is getting 150 spending and I am getting uh, $20 spending crap sorry I just realized I couldn't do that in smaller denominations because I actually forgot that was a category um, but I've got some money here so that's probably gonna go in four dollar four or five dollar notes so let's do that so we've got 20 plus 150 plus 60 plus 20 plus 20 plus 50 plus 20 plus 50 plus 20 that's $490 in my wallet okay and savings challenges savings challenges work really if you're finding the cash stuffing um, is not quite working for you and you're really struggling to save certain amounts and you'd like that instant gratification of seeing savings try savings challenges for the bulk of your saving i i am that person savings challenges work for me really really well and i find that i'm more likely to stuff a savings challenge than i am an envelope that's why mine are kind of so small my amounts are five ten dollars um because a lot of the time i'm doing savings challenges that are going into these so for example my deposit for my home it runs like $25 is not going to do jack shiitake mushrooms in regards to I need a $35,000 deposit but <coughs> most of my savings challenges are going towards my home deposit so yeah $25 a week is not a lot but then at the end of my savings challenges I might be pouring a couple of thousand in so um savings challenges just work for me so if you're struggling with your envelopes try savings challenges that might be that might be your um how you do it just like me okay the buffer is getting uh 15 um a lot of people have an electronic buffer like they have money in their account unfortunately i am the kind of person where if it is sitting there i will spend it i have no no impulse control whatsoever or for example say we're getting towards the end of the fortnight and we're kind of getting low on groceries i will be like i'll just take money out of the buffer and go do grocery shopping when really if that money wasn't there we would have been fine on what we had left um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually leave my buffer money in cash in an envelope because then I am less likely to spend it and keep it for a real emergency. <coughs> um, 52 week is getting 40. Um, a dollar a day is getting 15. 
Uh, Samsung is getting 10. This is to buy my husband a new phone. Uh, Caro Cash. Um, that's the heads and tails. So I'm just going to do $10 and $5 notes. And then I can stuff whatever I toss with my coin. Um, the 100 envelope challenge. This is going towards my credit card um, debt. Um, so every fortnight I just transfer the money straight over to the credit card. And I stuff my envelope with prop money just to keep a track. Uh, same with the zero out challenge. This is actually my investing savings challenge. So I've transferred $48 into our investing account and I prop the em I stuff the envelope with prop money just so I can see how much I invested. Uh, my goal at the beginning of the year was to invest $500 a year. So I'm kind of interested to see how, how close this just cash stuffing my change um, gets me to that. I did reach 400 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. So I am going to be cash stuffing $10 into that. The Eat Out Savings Challenge, that's the $10 from my cash envelope. Um, <coughs> Christmas is getting uh, 20 35 um, And then the 5 for 5 is getting 5 and the 20 for 20 <coughs> is getting 5 Okay, so in total for this one, is $170 for this week. Okay, so let's add all of this up. So we've got 220 plus 70 plus 30 plus 490 plus 170. Okay, so $980 for the first week of September. Uh, 980. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I apologize for the coughing. I am going to try and get through all of these videos. Um, so thank you so much for being here. Remember to live, laugh, love. And when life gets hard, just roll it in glitter. Bye, guys.